as you'll be able to tell by the title of the video, today we are checking, well not we, me, you're not, you're watching me do it, um, my hormone levels, so test levels specifically is why I'm doing this, but we get more as well, uh, which will be quite interesting, I think it's 10 readings we get. So we've got our sample collection kit here from Medichex, this is an at home one, so I'll be pricking my finger, getting some blood out and dropping it into the sample collection kit, hopefully not too much, because I don't know how much blood that can get out. But, oh shit, read the instructions, I'll cry like a bitch. So I have read the instructions on here, we'll also read them in there. Yeah, there's a little line we've got to fill to, and I've got to fill in the label. I've drunk water, exercise, and warm my hands, which I have, I've just finished some steps and abs. Um, I've warmed my hands, I've just washed them. And um, yeah, I'm always hydrated, so got the water in. Now, sample collection kit, I have opened this just to see what was in it. I was like a kid at Christmas, I wanted to open it before I done the video, so I know kind of what's in this, but I haven't had a proper look. So there we are. We've got, that's why the sale was broke, I, I broke it. It wasn't delivered like that. So what we've got is the shuttle pouch, which we'll put here. We've got our return bag, which will go over there as well. And sterile cleansing wipes, we've got the laboratory request form so this is something that i'll have to fill in and um, got my date of birth wrong on that so i'll have to <laughs> let them know of that i don't think it'll matter that much it's a few days off but um yeah got that and this is the instruction manual for the finger prick so we've got the f one of these fingers nice and warm hands so Take your sample on Monday or Thursday, check your complete email for any instructions. Yeah, it's a Sunday night, so I can send them off tomorrow morning. I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, hopefully, if not, it's a waste of fucking time, but it should be fine. Don't see why not. We have the finger prickers. And this is the sample collector. That's gonna go in there with the top off. If anyone's interested in getting their samples done, watch this video, see if you're up for it to get it done. Oh, I've got my date of birth right on that one. Oh no, they haven't, still got it wrong. But yeah, I'll inform them. Pet pads and little classes. Hopefully they've got dinosaurs on, otherwise I will be making a formal complaint. They haven't got dinosaurs on, that's very disappointing. But it'll still, I don't even know if it'll sort the blood up as well, because dinosaur plasters, plasters are the fucking boys. So we'll have a look at this. Step one, two, oh, we've done that. Step three, that's in. Step four, open the large moist wipe. Open the large moist wipe and lay it out. The fuck's that? I'm guessing this is the large moist wipe. And twist the end of the lancet so it's ready to use. Open this. And lay it out so it's ready to use, I think. Twist the end of the lancet so it's ready to use. What the fuck's that get blood out? Press the lancet down firmly on the side of your fingertip until you hear a click. Wipe away the first blood with the large moist, oh, that's, that's for large moist wipe. Um, I'll just put that in there. And then holding your hand down, gently massage your finger until the drops of blood go in there. Um, don't squeeze your finger too hard. Place your finger at the mouth of the collection tube and let it drop in. Don't scrape your finger on the tube as it can damage my blood cells, which I don't want doing because I want them tested and I want to know how much fucking test is in the veins. <laughs> yeah, fill the collection tube up with the up line. Shit myself a little bit to be honest. Best one's a ring finger apparently, so we'll do that. Get on the hard surface. There we go. Wipe the first bit away. Gently massage the finger. Fuck me. Am I gonna bleed? Two hours later. Come on. I just pop my nose. Might have been a bit fucking better than this. Quite a bit of blood sitting at the end of my finger. You just want to drop off. Three hours later. Come on. I don't think you can see this. A big drop of blood. We just want to get off. Stuck in my finger. Oh, there we are. Now it's running. Might have to do some more fingers here, you know. There's three of them lancelet things, so we we'll have three goals at this, but your blood's like fucking syrup. It doesn't want to come out. Even an action shot. There's blood dropping in. Go on. You up, you fucker. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. Two hours later. There we are. Dropped in. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like milking my own fucking finger here. <laughs> My finger just like a fucking blood odor. I thought I'd go fill the collection tube to the upper line. All right, yeah, there's a, there's a bit more. The upper line is pretty much at 
the cardboard bit. So if you're doing this, the upper line is pretty much at the cardboard bit, just so they have enough blood to use for the sample, obviously. I don't know how much people like watching blood drop into a tube, but if you do, like, subscribe, fuck, it's hit the side. I just have to wipe that off after I've finished this shit. I didn't expect that to hit the side. That was a shit shot by me. His finger's gonna have no blood left in. Um, I think we're gonna have to go again, so I'm gonna wipe this. I think that finger's all, all milked out of blood now. Yeah, we'll go again, different finger. Also, I'm not sure if you can see it. I think my hair is looking rather fucking cool. Going for a, a different look than usual. Get the plaster on so don't bleed on stuff. Different look than usual, and going for the, I think it's called a burst fade. So it's like a fade mullet combination. So we've got, yeah, we've got a couple more drops to do here. As far as blood goes, I think that's pretty good looking. Ruby red, healthy blood, I think. Um, again, we'll get, do you know that one's a used one? Yeah. Let's do this finger, so, tip. Again, just. Fucking hell. This will get the last of it out. Oh my God, that's a ridiculously small cut. I'm not getting anything out of there. I thought I didn't even cut it when I felt it. <laughs> what a waste. Right, we're gonna have to go for finger three because that's not doing anything. That's not really bleeding. Yeah, that was a pro cut. Big finger comes through, size does matter. We've got a lot of blood here. So now this will be, this is how I'll be spending my Sunday nights collecting my own blood. Go on little fella, drop off. There you go. Yeah, so as far as tutorials go, obviously take the good and leave the bad. Yeah, I've just done it again. Touch my finger again, because I'm pretty terrible at this. Um, let's use this one thumb method to massage the blood down. Leave this other hand out the way, because it keeps fucking knocking it. See, a general tip for if you're doing this is make sure you press down hard enough so it cuts you well. It sounds fucked up, but you don't want to be doing this on too many fingers. Because it just takes ages. Press down nice and hard so it cuts you decent and get some blood out. Get hydrated so your blood is a bit thinner, runs better. Warm hands. Just follow the instructions, basically. Warm hands, obviously. There we go. That has to be it. Let's bang on the upper line. We've done it. We've done it. This tube top pushed down with clicks. So we can put this on. Wipe these fingers and also get a clean bit. Sorry people checking my blood, but it's spilt down the side. Um, you should be wearing gloves anyways, so we're gonna get the other plaster on as well. On the big finger. I don't think the don't think the pointer finger needs it, but the middle finger definitely does. Let's get this plaster on. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to be honest. This um as hard as I made it look. It just follow the instructions, very simple to do. Fill everything in the line you need to fill in. This is all for the bin. Put that over there. Now to put on, put on, fill out the lab form and the white sample label with your, with the time and date that you took the sample. Get all this off, just dry. Yeah. And wrap it round. Yeah, that's, that's the one. When you're doing this, get your details right. So you want to put it like in the middle, like there, and you wrap it around, so then the two ends sort of stick together, so you can still read it when it's stuck on there. Otherwise, you're gonna cover one end of it by like wrapping it around. Um, that's in the little bin, little bin. I don't know what they look for. So like lab form, label your sample. This will get filled in as well, laboratory request form. Um, is it a fasting sample? No, I bet. 17, 30. So this goes with this. So it's rubbish, including all of your lancets and household waste. Put your sample in a safety bag. Don't remove the absorbent pad. So put that in. Fold and seal. So that's down at the bottom there. Take that off. Sealed. I think I've done that right. Maybe the only thing I've fucking done right. Try to make. This in here, I'll send this off in the morning. 
important yeah, and close the sample cell goes in as well. Toss all of this in here, close it up. So that's for the bin. Well, how long has that took? About 20 minutes. That sample is took. Probably shouldn't take 20 minutes. I just wasn't really a bleeder, even though it was quite thick blood, so hopefully that's a good thing. Should be a lot of red blood cells in there, not very diluted. This will get posted first thing in the morning. So it's a Sunday evening, which is why I've done this late. Technically, it's the same day. If you count a day, it's 24 hours. It's all posted, because this will get posted at like half six tomorrow morning. That's in there. Got my fingers all pricked up. Sample in there. Gonna be posting that tomorrow. Quite an easy thing to do. So if you um, if you have watched this and thought it was pretty easy, then give it a go yourself if you're interested in it. Again, it's Medi-Checks. I got the one, I think it was around, I think it was 80 quid. Sample sent off tomorrow. Should get the results next week, which I'll be doing a separate video on. This was more of a tutorial or a shit tutorial. So I was the worst at it. But even, you see, I was quite bad at that and I still managed to get it done. Tutorial on how to do this Medicheck sample collection. Um, at home, you don't need to go anywhere to post it, to get your bloods took or anything like that. There is other ones that you do. But this is the 10, I get 10 readings here. I get a battle with doctor's notes. So I'll be going through those in the next video as well. But if you have liked this video, like it. If you know anyone who's interested in getting something like this done, send it to them so they can have a look how to do it shit and then they can do it better. And yeah. If you do like this sort of content, follow the page. More to come, we're going through the results. And um, yeah, I'll catch you next time.